Hey, welcome to Storytime with Will. I'm Will Saris. Tonight we've got a special story called 21 Elephants and Still Standing. For 14 years, they'd watched it rise. The city's school teachers, bankers, cabinet makers, pointing and gawking, ooing and eyeing, cheering as the great pillars grew. Then came woven steel cables strung graceful and strong, like stairways straight to the stars. Taller and longer, bigger and broader, a bridge of infinite dreams. New York and Brooklyn, dwarfed by its arches, knew the future had entered their sights. Amazing, worth the waiting. It was simply breathtaking, the eighth wonder of the world. Some wondered how long it would stand. When the day finally came and the Brooklyn Bridge opened, the landmark was given its due. Flags waved, bands played, kids hurrayed, before bigwigs in top hats galore. At night there were fireworks, skyrockets of light that rained for an hour from the top of the towers to the roar of the crowds down below. Packed on sailboats and steamers, amidst bright-colored streamers, people partied until the sun rose. For the two sister cities, there was special excitement. They were linked by a magnificent bond. Now, over the river, not on its swift current, they could visit, do business, see sights. Sweethearts could take moonlit strolls. The bridge was exquisite, a true work of art, the greatest feat of its day. But so long and so lofty, its cables so new, some had to ask, is it safe? To these doubt-ridden few, friends sang the thing's virtues. The arches, the truss work, the view. Still, some could not be persuaded. Similar bridges have fallen. Who wants to bargain this bridge won't dance in the wind? One man who heard this, Phineas T. Barnum, saw in the doubt an opportunity. For Phineas T. Barnum always looked on the bright side. Phineas T. Barnum was larger than life, the world-famous showman's most awesome creation, the greatest show on earth. Yet Barnum's ideas weren't contained by a tent. I will stage an event that will calm every fear, erase every worry about that remarkable bridge. My display will amuse, inform, and astound or else my name isn't Barnum. So one evening in May 1884, the circus headed for Brooklyn. It traveled by water, except for old Barnum's most massive, most gallant attractions. Up Broadway they sauntered, trainers and charges enchanting more than a few. Onlookers went wild and filed behind, beguiled by the pachyderm procession. For the public prized elephants, especially Jumbo, pride of the circus's rings. With his height of 12 feet, the good-natured beast was America's oversized darling. On the group marched, past City Hall, past mothers, fathers, and children. Then the bridge straight ahead, the spectacle mounting with the giant's first steps on the roadway. One after another, the elephants pressed onward, silently trusting the wood planks and steel. Five, six, then seven were crossing, ten, eleven, and still there were more. Some onlookers ogled, some giggled with glee, some questioned companions or strangers, how many pounds can the wondrous bridge hold? How many elephants are too great a load? Swaying and rumbling, they were coming, the parade of elephant bulk. At the end of the line came Jumbo himself, for 21 elephants in all. The seven-ton star seemed to waggle his ears in reply to admirers' cheers. And though the bridge stretched a mile, in just a short while, and much to the people's delight, the elephants had crossed, with the bridge still aloft. 
Barnum pronounced the thing sound. In the following days, some doubters strolled the greatest bridge on earth. What else did they do once they'd savored the view? Why, they went to the big top, of course. That was an interesting story. Special thanks to Kathy Marr, Executive Director of the Barnum Museum in Bridgeport, Connecticut, who suggested that I find it and read it. And you can visit the museum's website at barnum-museum.org, and I suggest you check it out. P.T. Barnum was a pretty interesting guy. Listen, if you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, we got a lot of stories already on here, and there's more coming on the way. And until next time, please stay safe and stay healthy.